Welcome to Academy Answers Podcast, a show dedicated to inspiring and providing actionable advice on life, business, happiness, success, and reaching your full potential. Have you ever felt frustrated that life isn't working out the way you expected? Have you been searching for answers without success? You've come to the right place. Each week, we bring you perspectives, ideas, and actionable content. We share with you proven and time-tested step-by-step strategies to help you live the life you deserve and make your dreams a reality. From health to finances to relationships to business, we provide the insights and strategies you need to reach your full potential. So buckle up and plug in because Academy Answers Podcast is about to take you to a new level of personal success. Hey guys, how are you doing? Happy Monday. Welcome to the Academy Answers Podcast. Thanks for joining us and thanks for listening in. And you know, this podcast podcast, this podcast is about happiness, success, full potential. I got a little tongue tongue tie here. Whoa. What is this? It's the beginning of the week blues. Anyway, this podcast is about happiness, success, full potential, becoming uh, the person you are destined to be, living your best life and understanding that whoever you are supposed to be, you are not that person from the get-go. What happened is that you have all the capabilities and potential in you, but you have to cultivate them. So... There is a common way where people like to say that I am just this way or just, just the way I am and um, they just got to accept. And, and there is very little attention paid to becoming the best version of yourself, doing the work on yourself. And what most times when you hear people say that, yeah, that's just the way I am, I'm not this, I'm not that, or this is how they got to accept me, is because they are copping out of the work. They're copping out of the the effort and the focus and commitment and the discipline that it needs or it demands to override common impulses and to tap into their greatness and to explore the highest version of themselves and pursue that. People don't want to do that. People want to be taken away with the tide of commonality and the tide of impulses and then they justify it. That is the worst way to live because if you organize your life that way, you will end up being a victim, a victim of your environment, a victim of common impulses. And we all know what that brings and how that plays out. So we are doing this series about why people are failing and why people fail and mostly about the failing because you fail when you give up. You fail when you are done. You fail when you get to a point in time when you can do no more, whether physically or however, and you are now left with a certain set of results that you have no power to change for whatever reason. But most, I'm mostly speaking to the failing people. We spoke about us thinking that the illusion that talent um, is 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 the golden bit to get to high levels and because of that people believe that those who they view as being talented who of course we can say if you want that they're talented but they are underestimating and they are um, not paying attention to the work that these people put in to cultivate that talent and the other great miss that people are making in their minds is that not every talent shines from the get-go. And some people's talent never come to the forefront because there was no avenue to express that talent in. So when we're going to school, there was the athletic stuff and everybody, the talent only show from the athletic and and the performing arts. But then there were many other talents, people who were good at being um, interior decorators, people who were good at um, style and fashion and all that stuff. There was nothing to bring that out. So people naturally believe that uh, I don't I'm not talented and they only refer to talent as the performing arts and as and sports, which is ridiculous. 
So their talents and special abilities are in every single field you can think of. And what is more important is that people have used those talents in every single field you can think of, every little area, especially in this modern world, and they have created a dream life for themselves. In, and if you care to, to explore these things, just go online and start to do a little digging and a little research on YouTube, on Facebook, and you will see the, the way people have find a way to do amazing things with what we didn't even know was a talent um, 10 years ago. So this morning I want to talk about the topic of your environment. The environment in that people are in, the people that they surround themselves with, the energy and the ideas that they surround themselves with is one of the biggest reasons why people are failing. I just said to a friend yesterday, who is a, a part of a mastermind I'm, I'm, I'm involved in, and I was trying to explain to him that. Whatever effect you think that your environment have on you, on a scale of one to 10, if you think your environment of uh, three, it actually have 50. This is at least 5x the effect that you are aware of. Your environment, your conditioning, your the way you were raised has a huge impact on your life and on your thinking. Subconsciously, forget how you the things that you know or you are able to recognize. But listen to, but just watch your crowd. And watch the people you are around. You express things the same way. You watch the same things. You earn within the same salary range. You go to the same places. You eat and drink the same things. You do everything the same. These are the outward ones. They are also the subconscious ones. That subconsciously weigh you down. If they're not pushing, you're not pushing. They're not going to the gym, you're not going to the gym. You go in a group of any four or five people, and if three of them start going to the gym, I can guarantee you 80% of them will be going to the gym. Because we adapt to our environment. Human beings, by nature, by nature, that's out of your control. By nature, we are followers. We seek community. We seek acceptance. We seek to fit in. So we do what our environment do. We shop at the same place. We wear the same clothes. And that is why so many people are failing. There's also the subconscious pull that is on you from your environment. Your environment and the people you surround yourself with, the people you talk to, the people you spend most of your time with, they don't dream. They don't read. They don't work on themselves. They don't work out. They don't understand the importance of personal development. They don't understand the importance of setting goals. They don't understand the importance of focus. They don't understand the importance of taking charge of their own lives and taking responsibility of their, for their own lives. So you don't do it either. Never join an easy crowd. A crowd that doesn't push you to be more and to do more and to come up with more results and to um, encourage you to push past your limits. That crowd is destructive to your progress. You are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. And you hear that all the time. There's a quote. It's not my quote. It's everywhere on the internet. that has been around for the longest while. You're the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. If you don't find yourself spending time with five people or anybody at all, you're the average of the five ideas that you entertain most often happened to me when I when I moved to the US I wasn't around friends and my friends weren't close to me and there was nobody as a friend that I was seeing a lot and what was I doing 
I was spending time with people on YouTube who was into personal development and business and I was reading books and I was saturating my consciousness with that type of information to mold myself, to average out myself in the highest quality people. Les Brown has a saying called OQP, only quality people. There is a way, there's a subconscious way. There is a unseen way that your environment have an effect on you. What you expose yourself to, what you entertain, what you feed the mind is playing somewhere in the background and it's doing something to your progress. It is either helping you or it is detracting you. It's taking away from you. Do not underestimate the power of your environment and the people you associate yourself with. And if you might say you're in a traveling environment, people at work are stupid, they don't talk anything sensible. Um, I have to be around these people. Don't tell me I'm like these people. I'm not saying you're like them. I'm saying that being in that environment and spending time with a certain crowd brings a certain level of energy from that crowd and you subconsciously start to adopt something from them. And if it's not something that is outward, it's something that is inner and playing out in from the subconscious and affecting your external life. So if there's no push around you, there's no aspirations, there's no um, goal setting, there is no development of your person, there is no going for stuff, there is no um, physical um, exercises, there's whatever it is. If there's none of that around you, it is harder for you to do it. If it is around you, if you are around that stuff, the motivation, the inspiration will come easier. And to be propelled when you get into action. Because there is a support system. There is a unit. Because human beings belong to. Like to have a. By nature we want to belong to a community. When that is there. Playing out in your life. Do not allow your environment. To cause you to fail. You have to aim for a higher circle. You have that duty and that responsibility for yourself. And this is what gets most people. Most people can't change. Most people can shed um, the, 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 their, their associations that they have with people who are not in line with where they want to go. And most people can't find a way to subtly limit the interactions and subtly pull out and start to entertain a different type of life and most people don't know how to what an old boss of mine told me to water company com compartmentalize their life is there's such a word that's what he says is that you got to put your life into water type compartments you got to know that okay this is what i do in the morning and this is where i'm going these are my goals and this is, these are the activities, this is, the, these are the things I do that are going to take me to my goals and also maintain my daily life. You must, I must learn to block out everything in the mornings when I wake up. I must learn to do my meditation. I must get my exercises in. I must get a healthy breakfast. I must listen to 10 minutes of something inspirational, motivational, or learning related and you block that time and you do that and then you go to work and all that work mumbo jumbo and drama is there and it comes to your being and you got to handle it you must learn to leave work shed that put it aside close it up and move on to the next activity that you have to do if you keep spilling one compartment into the next then you will never be able to get through life 
by balancing all the obstacles that you have to face and all the things you have to juggle as a human being in these modern times. When you get home and you have your side hustle to work on or you have your gym and your exercises to do and you have your kids to take care of, you must learn to turn off devices, put away that, sit with your kid. I struggle with that too. Sit with your kid, execute that. And your ability to grip each section of your day and perform it exclusively will have a very great impact on how you are able to create what you want to create in this life. So, your environment, the people you surround yourself with, you have to take a deep, hard look at that. And guys, if if you don't quite wrap your head around it I'm telling you that this is one of one of the things that you have to just take on board without questioning it and deep thinking it and trying to figure out the whole big logic and trying to execute don't do it just realize and understand that according to so many people who have done tons of work in this space uh 90 odd percent of them single out your environment and your association as being one of the most important element in whether or not you succeed so you accept that it is true sometimes you have to accept something and go with it before you can realize and make the full logic of it somewhere down the road these are one of the things. Accept that your environment is affecting your subconscious and it's playing out favorable or unfavorable factors when it comes on to your growth, development, and success. Thank you guys for listening. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Enjoy. Have a good day.